How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Doing great. Can I have a meeting? Can I have a meeting? Please? No, you can't. Are you a private officer? citizen? You're what? A private citizen. You're a private citizen? Sir. All right. Do you work here? I do. Okay, so your policy says that you have to identify yourself. You're a person with a gun. I'm sure your policy says you have to identify yourself. We got some policy breakers over here. I don't know, man. But I don't I feel think like that I guy can run too fast. <laughs> Something must have gone down here. Well, I, I mean, I don't think that's a fair assessment. He, he was nice, um, but the thing is, he's, he's not being a he's, he's not a private citizen. He's right not a now. private citizen right he's, now. He's on the job. He's contracted by the city to give the uh, citizens of Buffalo a service. Well, he's contracted by we the people to be polite and courteous and uphold the Constitution. That's what his job fundamentally is. Um, regardless of his physical appearance, his duty is to be polite, courteous, and uphold the Constitution. And I have love for anybody that does that. This this um, this servant that we're talking to is very polite, very cordial. Extremely polite. How long have you been a police officer? 25. 25 years. Mr. America would be out of business if we had public servants like this across the country. Yes, yes. Well, thank you very much for your service. Have you ever um, came across any police misconduct that you had to address? Like any bad cops that you ever met? This isn't an interview. I'm sorry? This isn't an interview. Oh, I would answer it anyways. I can't answer that. Are you, are you, why, are you, why are you interrupting the conversation? Because this isn't a public interview. And you are? Do you think yes, that do you, I think it's a little when sexist to speak, when we're having a conversation to speak for a woman? I mean, just mind your own business. I'm not speaking for a woman. Yes, just mind your own business. Like, guys, just shut your mouth. Just mind your own business. Yeah, just shut your mouth. He works here, so okay. Oh, he works here. So then you're going to deal with me. So he works for us and he's telling us what to do. You're turning on your phone, cell phone, right? Okay, guys, guys, you've been dealing with me. Okay, we're just talking. You've been dealing with me. Yes, and I answer questions. Yes, and we're being very nice to you. Okay, do you have any further business here today? We're just looking. We're just giving ourselves a self guided tour. We might see if we can get a question for the mayor too. Okay, well you can. Well, if he walks outside, I have the right to ask him a question. What time room. is that meeting over? <laughs> he go home? Is he going to go through the back way? What time no, is it over? He, can't he jumps room. off with a parachute. You can. you can. You can do your... If you have specific... You know. You know. If you have specific business here... We're working on a documentary right now. We are. We know free on the press. Do you have business cards? Because I will gladly leave a business card. Do you, do you have one? Yes. Do you have press cards? That's what I'm asking. Sir. You would obviously know, right? If you had press directions, yes, because freedom of the press is only applicable to those who are issued. Since when is that? So, um, There's a police police allowed. Can you give a little bit of history? Sure. Does he skip high Where school? In the Constitution, does it, does, it, does, it talk, does it discuss about issuing a press credential? Why are you following Sir? me? I'm not following you. I'm walking around. Like... No, you're following me. No, you I'm, following I'm walking me? in my own building. You're following me. No, actually, I, no, actually, I was going to walk right here, but you stopped in front of me. So I don't know. This is my building, is it not? Have a good day, sir. And I'm trying to get your information. This is my job here today. Okay, today. This is my so job sir, to deal with the public. So if you could have, no if you could write your information down for me, that would be great. I will be happy to forward it Thank you. to the mayor you're on your behalf. Yeah. You're the okay. best. We'll give you the information that's when I'm towards the office, right? So any, I definitely think we both can agree that any private entity can withhold or give press credentials to whoever they want. Private entities, correct? It's up to the private entity, correct? I have no idea. So let's just say it was my birthday party at yeah. my house, and I would be the person that issues the press credentials. Like, so if I well, had... different because you're talking about your house versus a public building, that's because... I, I, you know, we do this for a living. In a public <laughs> building is, is actually, it is Similar different. To that's, that's, that's more protected because it's paid Absolutely. by taxes. Yeah. So that was my point, is... Um, Anybody can be the press in the United States. That's the great part about it is the freedom of the press, the First Amendment shall not be infringed. That just means, I mean, Benjamin Franklin, he didn't go get a, uh, a contract from the government to the press, to be a part of the press. He just became the press. There is no particular... This is pseudo -maker. 
It's like uh, something. But then he wrote the almanac. Yeah, something. something yoga, right? Yeah, yeah. he wrote the almanac under that name. I don't know, but but I just want to say that the freedom of press applies to everybody. You don't have to be um, lying about what's a mass production or advertising for big pharma. Freedom of press is guaranteed for all citizens. And yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Would you like to leave your information? Sure. Right on the How are you doing, sir? Can we have your name and badge for you, please? He's my lunch really for today. Oh, that's fine. What's up, guys? How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Good to see you. Should I put my game on? Well, it, the First Amendment goes both ways. What? The First Amendment goes both ways. You got it. You see, you got multiple cameras here. And, you know, we have our own. Can I have your name and badge number, please? My name is Edward Ramage. My badge number is... 1349. Let me check. Ooh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You're very nice. 3704. I usually don't use that number for anything. So. <laughs> That's cool. Well, we're just working on a video about the city hall. This is one of the nicest city halls we've ever been to. 28 floors. Oh, where are you guys from? We don't answer questions. <laughs> we have to answer questions, but you don't answer questions. Correct. Correct. <laughs> That's not fair. Hey, but Next time, don't be a cop. <laughs> don't 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 work for the public if you don't want to be in that situation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I signed up for it. So then there I you go. Up. And she's done. And she's done a, a great job. I'm sure she's done a great job for the past 25 years. Did you become a police officer when you were a baby? Pardon? You don't. You, <laughs> you, 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 you don't. You don't look like you've been a police officer for 25 years. I'm just saying. For real. disaffected children when it comes to child protective services okay. and um, that's one of my biggest hot button issues and uh, I think there's some best practices and I think that if we put some fail sets and bulwarks in place that uh, we could who are you looking to speak? Um, the mayor or anybody that would be really willing to, to hear me out. Who oversees child protective services? It's a, it's, a, it's a state level but state state law but it's administered by the county. I believe so. Yeah, that's not a city function, that's a county. Correct. And um, but however, since it just does disproportionately uh, uh, here in New York, uh, here in in Buffalo, I think that there are some things that we can put in place that can kind of be safeguards and make some And uh, with all the same things, it seems that there are some more. Uh, we do understand that showing up with three cameras in this process, it's not a really encouraging way to have a civil conversation. That may or may not be the case, however, I mean, maybe. Part of the reason we do this is social experiment. I mean, there's cameras everywhere. The NSA has been illegally spying on us since 2013. You know what Edward's doing? Sure, he knows what I'm pretty sure he's in the closet. I hope he. Well, if he's in the closet, that's you know his own personal business. But he's a great patriot, regardless. He's a great patriot. He. So we were talking about safety. Yes, we were talking about. I understand. Well, because you because that's the thing. Some people are a little off put by cameras. But it's because we've been living in this world where only the CIA, the FBI, the large media corporations can have cameras. So we're making it cool that I get to read on Metro PCS. And, we, and that's the whole great part about this country is we said, you know, we pretty much don't want people to come in here with cameras and be harassed by public employees into okay. getting them to turn it off. Because we, we run this building, we, fund, we finance this place. So. The same, re the same right that you guys have to video record everyone that walks in here, we have, yes, sir. We have the same right to record that. If not, we, we just we, we, we'd rather live in, in North Korea or something. Yeah. No, we travel across the country. We pay federal taxes, though, too, which trickles down everywhere. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go see what else we got here. The First Amendment doesn't just apply you know, in your home state. <laughs> Thank you. This is, why, this is why we're the United States. Yeah, and uh, that's the thing is, you know, we get this a lot where we're, we're not actual media, we're not this or that, 
that's the whole idea that we're all kings, we're all sovereigns. We don't have to beg to King George. Oh, you know, if it pleases the crown, may I please feel a little moment? No. We are our own sovereigns. We do our own thing. We're our own kings. We're all equal. All men, women, trans, everything. We are all equal. Nobody's king. Nobody's better above us. Audrey Merrick, I'll find him on Facebook. Find him on Instagram. Chase from the Allen Report. Like, share, and subscribe to YouTube. Towards the last demand of truth. Audrey Merrick, the